I'm LaShonda Brazil. My name is Valerie DeGrasa. My name is Sabrina Jocelyn. My name is Jamie Williams. My name is Emily Snow. My name is Odette. My name is Shima Gulej. And this is Women in Construction 2021. What I really like working in the construction industry is to see the actual project go all the way through. It's cool to see from the base because when you first hear about construction, you don't think, all you hear is about is dirt, wood and all that, but there's so much component that goes into it and it's really cool to see the project from finish to end or just different aspects of that. I have a lot of favorite things about working in the construction industry, but I think overall, um, I think back to when I was a little kid, I grew up on competitive teams all the time. I've always thrived working in team environments, um, working together to, to win, to do something great. So that's what I see here every day in the construction industry. Each day is different, but you're working with a team and we're all working really, really hard, um, but we can all take a step back at the end of every day and see the amazing things that we're building and it's just really rewarding. My favorite part about working in the construction industry is the constant changes throughout the day. Um, it's always something different happening going on at the job site or at the main office. Uh, we're constantly moving on to a new project or a new dilemma that needs to be figured out. Working with different types of people as a team together for a common goal that will affect the community that we are impacting. My dad is a uh, inspires me to grow in my role. I remember uh, when I was very young, he tells everyone the story that uh, he took me on a construction job site and he had me in a car seat and he put me in a bucket of the crane and he said, you belong here. And I thought, yeah, you're right, I do belong here. This is, yeah, so it, he always inspires me. He, uh, he's a uh, second generation in construction and uh, it's, it's just part of my DNA. And the person that inspires me, or I could say people that inspire me, are my co-workers and also seeing women, other women in the industry that's working. Um, especially on LinkedIn, you're always seeing really cool projects or different things that people are doing, being very creative in the construction industry. That inspires me to become better and see what impact I can do in my community. I think what inspires me the most is the constant drive to want to do better and uh, prove myself to those around me and to myself. Um, I like to, like to see if I can go beyond what I know and work my way up. Um, probably working with men you know sometimes you can work with men and they don't kind of listen to women as much but if you just be mean what you say and say what you mean it will be okay definitely uh, and I don't think that this is you know just in this industry or in this company um, I think that there is uh, pressures uh, within society for a woman to be everything at all the times you know uh, women who are uh, who are mothers or caretakers um, and also have to fulfill their duty as a full-time professional uh, it, it's difficult you know we've seen it in this pandemic a lot of women had to leave the workforce to get back into the house to homeschool their kids uh, so it, it there, there are pressures there and it's difficult to be a woman uh, not only in this industry but in the workforce so the challenges are there but uh, every day you know we make strides to to equalize the field uh, between men and women there are some challenges uh, with being a woman in the construction industry um, of course it's a work-life balance but I think everyone kind of has work-life struggles and balances but particularly as a woman and a woman having children um, trying to strike the right balance between uh, making sure you put in enough at work where you're excelling and exceeding your expectations and also meeting your the needs of your children and nurturing them and giving them what they need so just trying to strike the right balance during the week oh mercy there's many challenges um, one thing I could say is uh, it's difficult at times because people look down upon you in, in some cases. I'm not saying for everybody, but like I know for subcontractors, they kind of look at you as if they doubt you in your role and how you can accomplish your position. Um, all I say is ignore them and keep with pushing because you know you know what you're doing. You know that you are capable and you have that quality to do it. So even though people would look at you in the opposite way, just kill them with kindness and do your job. <laughs> 
Yeah, honestly, there are a lot of challenges that are unique to being a woman in the construction industry. But from what I've seen and what I've gone through, all of those challenges can absolutely be overcome with just a little bit of dedication, passion, and perseverance. And I think that's a great thing about being a woman in the construction industry. When you overcome those challenges, it is the best feeling in the world, and it just gives you that little bit of boost and encouragement that you need.